Hello, this is Angela with Parker's House Frau. I was up here filming my regular Friday video I'm up at my dad's house and I wanted to take a few minutes to make a little bonus video to answer a question from a viewer. So since I have to come up and help my dad with bills and food preparation and cleaning and things like that on a daily basis, it's often quieter here than at my own house. And so sometimes I film some of my videos up here. Um, my folks' house is one block away from mine. They actually moved from Florida to be by us about 10 years ago. So uh, they're not originally from this neighborhood. And they have a much, much larger house than I do. My house is very small, kind of dumpy, and has a lot of kid and dog and budgie noise. And so sometimes it's easier to just film up here where it's peaceful and quiet. Now, my mother was a homemaker, and I've talked about her a little bit in some of my videos. She was a consummate homemaker and also had a ridiculously beautiful uh, collection of rugs and antiques that she accumulated over the years. And so I grew up in a house that kind of looked like a museum. It's very different than my house where I live now. But my mother had a wonderful array of antiques and this very large shrunk behind me is one of those. So someone said, what is this huge piece of furniture? What are you sitting in front of? Is this built in? What is it? Um, so I thought I would just show you some video of what this looks like. So this is German, almost all of our antiques are German. And uh, we lived in Germany when I was very small. This shrunk is basically a wardrobe before there were closets in uh, large houses. So this probably came from like a chalet or a very, very large country house, something like that. And this is where folks kept their clothes. So the center section has a mirror, which is a silvered mirror. And I always loved as a child, the silvering is coming off the back. So it has this kind of magical sparkly look that my camera can't pick up at all. But I love to sit in front of it and imagine that I could like cross into another fairy world because uh, the mirror was so sparkly. So this comes apart to move, but it's ginormous. And so my parents have always had to have a house with at least 12 foot ceilings in one room so they could fit this piece of furniture. And um, unfortunately it will never be able to fit in the house that I live in now. I don't know what will happen to it after my dad doesn't need it anymore or my dad doesn't live here anymore. Um, I don't know that either of my siblings want it. These kinds of pieces of furniture while beautiful and functional and can store a tremendous amount are less and less desirable now that we have built-in closets and bookshelves and everything else and now that we no longer live in these giant grand country houses so they're actually quite hard to get rid of and they actually can be quite uh, difficult when it comes to purchasing a house or finding somewhere to live because you basically have to buy a house where your giant piece of furniture will fit so let me flip the camera around and show you a little bit about what this shrunk looks like. So I'm sitting in the chair and I just flipped the camera around and you can see what a huge piece of furniture this is. My parents have a craftsman house, but they've lived all over. They live, have lived in Ohio and Florida and um, Arizona. And we've always had to have a big house. Well, at least one big room with tall ceilings to fit this. So this, uh, while I'm sitting here, this side has these drawers. My mom always kept all her table linens and napkins. We always used cloth napkins growing up. Uh, these have these pull-out drawers and this is where you would keep your shirts and uh, shirt waists and things like that in here. All these very nice pull-out drawers, I don't know if you can see here. They're really, really lovely and well-made and they roll easily except that they're a little bit full of all kinds of linens. So obviously this is veneer, but the inside is all solid wood. You can see this mirror, this door, by the way, when I've helped my parents put this together when we've moved, holy cow, this door is so heavy, very, very heavy. So in here, you can see the key in here. This is where my mom always kept all her china and some of the like kid friendly dishes. This is my set of china we always got out for my birthday. My mom loved to collect china baby books and scrapbooks on the top. But this is also, again, more clothes. And you can see here, there is a place to put your umbrellas. Really functional piece of furniture. I just absolutely love it. 
definitely the my favorite piece of furniture that my parents have. And then this side, this is where my mom kept all her uh, vases and some of her crystal. My mom was a big gardener and she would often give people the gift of uh, cut flowers from the garden and so she would collect vases at the thrift store. Now some of these are very expensive and are from Europe, but some of them are just thrift store vases so that she could give somebody flowers from her garden. I just have such a fondness and a love for this piece of furniture. I'll be really sad when it goes out of the family. My mom bought it when I was about one and a half. So it's something that I've known my entire life. I just really, really love it. It's beautiful, really warm color. Really makes the whole room feel warm, but it is a massive heavy piece of furniture. All of these come apart, the tops come off and the sides come apart and it all folds up for moving. So it is quite portable. It's just finding a space in which to keep it. I went to my house and measured the top of my ceiling hits right here, right there, that much taller than the top of the trunk. So we wouldn't be able to lift this up and over and get it set on. It definitely would not fit in my house. So I hope that answers the question. What the heck is that giant piece of furniture? No, it's not a built-in. Yes, it does come apart. Yes, I have loved and cherished it my whole life. My mother was incredibly proud of it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, the heater is running so loud in the background. Um, I'm really hot. I took off my sweater. It's very toasty in here right now. I will be back for my regularly scheduled video on Friday, if not beforehand. Thanks.